All right, so now we've got the topsoil coming into the greenhouse right now. That's about 14 yards. I figure we need about uh, 30 yards in here. So we're gonna have a foot of topsoil in the greenhouse and we'll add manure and compost to it over time. Cool, I've never seen a dump truck do that. So in our last greenhouse, we had to grow in uh, raised beds and it was always a bone of contention uh, because we didn't have access to the subsoil and so clays, sands and silts, especially clays, and there is a clay concentration in here, not very high, has something called a high cation exchange capacity, which is basically meaning that it, it attracts minerals to it, it's got a high charge and the way that you the reason that's important is because the clay, the, the electrical charge of the clay actually attracts nutrients to it and they're bound up in the actual clay itself and, you, and the way that we get it out is by adding biology. And so people kind of bemoan using clays as a, a garden soil, but when you get the organic matter and the, and the uh, biology in there, the biology kind of rips it off and, and makes it accessible to the plants. So now we've got a, a foundation for the plant, literally, of subsoils, which is also going to store all of our energy. And then we've got the kind of starting place for our soils, which is a, a, a locally available organic topsoil, which will improve over time. And so as that biology works on this subsoil, eventually this whole thing will become a topsoil over 10 years, let's say. And so our plants are not going to have any limitation with regards to how deep they can go, just like they would in any other garden, except that we've got this climate controlled space over top of it, which is going to allow us a three month window of growing. And we've already seen this year through observation that uh, we don't have a lot of heat units out here. Um, and so outdoors will be really good for things like carrots, potatoes and turnips. And then in here we'll be doing hot season cro crops like uh, basil and tomatoes, eggplants, peppers. Um, even some squash potentially and, uh, and so we've really set ourselves up for success with warm soils with subsoils and with topsoils kind of in very specific orders um, to, to give us a really productive garden